Okay folks, Ralph Claxton here with LearningThis.com and today's little quick tutorial is all about how to unzip a file. Now, in the email you just received uh, from me, it talks about you can basically download the videos and upload them to a different computer or to your iPod or Zooms or M multiple MP3 players in case you want to take this thing with you and do your studying on the road. So, I'm going to show you how to unzip it. So basically you just go to the zip word zip you're going to click on it and another folder is going to open up or a box I, I should say now pay close attention as to where you're going to save it at now I normally save mine on a desktop but it goes into a subfolder for me and it, and it also puts it into my download folder so pay close attention here as to where you save it because you're going to say I saved it but I don't know where it went so just read this information right here to find out where the heck it's going to be saved at, okay? So you basically click OK. And of course, it's going to go through the motions of saving. And once it's done, it's going to be saved. And now I know where to go to look for mine, okay? Basically, I can hit my Start menu. I can go right to my Downloads folder, okay? And go right there. Go right down to it and where is it it's right here so I can take that and basically copy it or drag it over to my desktop we're going to paste it right here and to unzip it you can double click it or you can do a right click and hit all and another box of a pop up now it depends on what operating system system you're on I'm on Vista here and I'm not a big fan of it but I'm on Vista and uh, you just hit extract you know I have a built-in uh, zip utility uh, it tells me here that I already had that particular folder on my desktop but if I didn't I would just hit yes and it would uh, basically put the folder on uh, my desktop because that's where I got it stored so that folder is right here and we'll open that up we we'll take a look inside there's another subfolder there and here is the video as if you were looking at it on your computer watching it through a browser here it is this is the one you drag over to your um, mp3 player iPod or iTunes or whatever you have that you want to use let me see where I put my uh, I'll show you exactly pull that right over there so you can watch the videos uh, on those wonderful little technology gadgets you know so we'll wait till that pops open I'll put this on my iPhone and uh, you know you can just move it about it's a really really cool thing to do and so now you'll know all about uh, zip utilities and what have you let's see here oh, no, no. put this over movies see I already got a few in there we'll take this and we'll do a copy we'll come over here I don't know if I could paste it in there I didn't think I could. iTunes is funny like that, but you can drag it just like that. And where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Set up. So now I have this available. All I have to do is sync it with my phone, and I can watch it on my phone, okay? Or your Zoom player or your iPod Touch, whatever you got. Now, if you also want to move it to multiple computers, then you can just use a jump drive to um, save all the videos on a jump drive and take it to that next computer and put it in say for instance you got one at work or what have you you know that's a great way to, to move it about all right so that's a quick tutorial on how to unzip I'm also going to include a couple of zip utilities uh, WinZip is one of them it's a freebie and even though uh, you might pass the expiration date you can still use it even though there's a little box that pops up that tells you hey it's time to buy so basically it's right over here download evaluation page WinZip 12 up to 12 now so you just click on any one of these it's perfectly fine um, I usually go to CNET pretty reliable go right there and box pops up they give you a couple recommended downloads never mind all that go right to the one you want click on it it says download now 
another little box is going to pop up or it might change screens like it did for me okay well it just downloaded really quick for me uh, but you might have a box pop up depending on the operating system that you you have installed okay so I'm Ralph Claxton with learningits.com I hope that was very helpful and please come over to the blog oh there's that box right there come over to the blog leave a comment or two put your URL in your comment area and create yourself a great backlink okay get some more traffic to your site okay alright here's that box and basically you would just hit save and then you'd have to do the executable part let's go through it anyway I wasn't going to go through it but I'm going to go through it we'll wait for it to save it's saving once it's saved we'll double click and install it and you don't ever have to search for this program to unzip a file it'll automatically detect that you want to unzip a file and it will do that work for you let me move this over here so it's downloaded so basically it will download and let's say if this was the file we we'll just go over here and click open or you can actually depending on the operating system you have you can actually double click it and it'll start doing that which you wanted to do just like I just double click right there it's going to open up a folder and go from there you can do the same thing when it's done here so we're going to stop that and we're going to remove it because I don't need it all right again I'm Ralph Claxton with learningthis.com everybody has a niche what's yours